Trust Company is bringing you this complete transcribed broadcast of Freshman Glee from the gymnasium on the campus of Willamette University via the facilities of Oregon's capital outlet, KOCO, in Salem. Part of the routine of Frosh Glee is the annual challenging assembly which took place last Tuesday morning here at the university. The purpose is for the formal issuance of the challenge by the freshman class president. This year, rivalry and enthusiasm overflowed more than somewhat. Seniors arrived early, we hear, barring the doors against the sophomores. Finally, though, the sophs did gain entry, parading in splendidly with a mass of helium-filled balloons gaudily labeled Sophs Win Glee. Well, this, you know, disturbed an overzealous freshman who promptly scampered monkey-like into the rafters here in the gym where he diligently collected each balloon, hanging by his knees sometimes to do so, and promptly exploding it. Later, the indignant seniors left in a huff before the challenge were promptly locked out. The seniors are back to their seats again. sung their song, and they're all through now, and that's the seniors, seniors you heard, giving themselves a huge ovation. Class of 1953, the juniors, a serenader's dream. Student announcer again, Hal Hargraves, has introduced the junior class. Now the two young ladies who will play the pianos for the juniors are being escorted to the two twin pianos, you might say. They are. They will play the march tempo for the juniors to take stage. As we were saying, this uh, challenging assembly which took place last week, the seniors decided none of this childish nonsense was for them, and they filed grimly and glumly out of the gymnasium. But uh, by the time they got out, they thought better of it and decided they really ought to go back in with the challenging. However, about that time, the sophomores decided to lock the seniors out so they couldn't get back in. Meantime, a huge freshman sign lettered freshman when Glee was being ripped to shreds by the juniors inside while assorted male members of all classes staged a melee on the balcony in the best swashbuckling Hollywood tradition. Lots of fun, lots of fun for everybody. A lot of noise, a lot of excitement. That's the way Glee is run on this campus. It's a big event and everyone enjoys it immensely. Semblance of order was regained, though, and the challenge was issued last week, and amid much heckling and catcalls, it was issued. The tradition took its course, the challenge was accepted, and that's why we're here tonight. Well, the 94 juniors are taking stage in two groups. One group is marking time at their seats. The other group, which is dressed in white skirts and red letterman sweaters and white trousers and red letterman sweaters, maroon and gold sweaters, actually, filed onto the stage and formed another heart formation, smaller than the senior heart, small, tight, red heart shape, right in the center of the six-level stage, right in front of the huge backdrop. Very brilliant splash of color there in the pool of spotlights, which falls upon the stage. Now a second group of juniors is coming onto the stage. Up the extreme ends, up the six levels, across the top, down again, forming a white frame around the red heart that's already there. Now we have a tight, bright, red and gold heart in the center of the stage, surrounded by white lines, which is made up, of course, of white blouses and white skirts worn by the young ladies who are surrounding the heart. The outside group, incidentally, has their hand, have their hands on each other's shoulders to enclose the heart. Now, a third group of juniors is coming onto the stage. Let's see where they're going. Up the outside edges, across the top, and down again. I see they're blocking in the background. It's going to be a red heart in a white block background when it's completed. We have so far the heart and the white block background. All participants are marking time, smiling very gaily and brightly 
seem very eager to sing what they think is a very fine song. We'll hear that as soon as the formation is complete. Now here comes the last segment of it. These are the juniors with the dark sweaters, the dark blouses. They are coming up to the extreme near end of the stage, near to us, up to the top, and across the top, dropping, turning, going right into the center of the formation in single file. No question about what this is. It's a red heart in a white field with a blue arrow at this moment passing right through the heart. So now we have the square completed formation, all done in the colors of their costumes, all formed without hesitation, very correctly and very quickly. The juniors have a white background, a red heart, and a blue arrow passing through it. The junior song, the words were written by Jane Fushi and Margaret Conklin, the music by Harriet Aller. The formation we've just been describing was designed by Rollin Cocking. The juniors are, of course, the class of 1953, and the name of their entry in the 1952 freshman glee is A Serenader's Dream. The formation appears to be almost complete, and in a moment we will hear entry number two in the 44th annual freshman glee, the junior song, words by Jane Fushi and Margaret Conklin, music by Harriet Aller, formation by Rollin Cocking. Here are the juniors to sing A Serenader's Dream.
junior class has laid its cards on the table. The juniors, the class of 1953, have just sung their very fine entry. The Serenaders Green, words by Jane Fushi and Margaret Conklin, music by Harriet Aller. The Serenaders Dream, the junior song, the junior's entry in the 44th Annual Freshman Glee here at Willamette. Now to the same quick march tempo, the junior formation unwinds itself, the heart melts and disappears, the arrow blends and goes away, the light background fades and is gone from the stage. For the junior entry in Freshman Glee is history now. It's up to the judges. The juniors will soon be back in their seats. Two down and two to go. Who's going to win Glee? There are somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,500 people here this evening, and many, many more in the immediate area of Salem and the Willamette Valley here in Oregon would very much like to be here. This event has been going on for so many years that it's gained real popularity in the Oregon country. And many, many more people would like to witness it than we have room for here in this gymnasium. Tried other sites for glee through the years downtown, but somehow it's always returned home like a pigeon. Came home to roost in its own gymnasium. It seems to belong here. This is where it started. This is where it will probably continue for a good many years. The crowd that is here is certainly enjoying it, as they always do. Their laughter and applause is spontaneous. It shows their real interest. We understand there are several outside the door even yet, still hoping to get in for part of what's left. 180 original songs have been composed as glee entries here at Willamette. Several of them have weathered the years, too. It's interesting to note that Willamette is one smaller university which has nothing but original school songs. The alma mater, the serenade, the fight song, all were glee songs originally. They were not borrowed from a larger school with new words added or anything of the kind. They were written here. They belong with this school. enthusiasm for themselves. Next up will be the sophomores, as soon as the junior accompanists have been escorted back to their seats. And they have been. 